All right, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. So uh, we're going to talk about Cardano's timeline tonight. That's a hot topic. And uh, Solana is getting $40 million from MXC and OKX. And uh, a New Zealand retirement fund just allocated 5% into Bitcoin. So those are the things we're going to talk about tonight. Those are the things we're actually going to talk about. Well, the market can't always go up. Well, look, markets for like 95% of the time go sideways. They don't always go up. Going up, up, and up is kind of an anomaly. It's not like something that you should expect. What's going on with Solana? Solana's had some good, uh, good news. They just got a $40 million investment from MXC and OKX. So there's a big players actually backing Solana now. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let's actually, I think so. Yeah, I mean, uh, ANKR is getting listed on Coinbase. If, that, if it starts pumping, that's why. ANKR is getting listed on Coinbase. So let's actually look at Cardano's timeline. Charles has to stop cursing at people who are on crypto. That doesn't, I mean, I don't really care what he does. I mean, for Cardano. I, look, he needs to stop spending so much time on WSB. It's bad. For, that's bad for you. Do you believe ADA will dethrone ETH? I don't think I don't think it'll dethrone ETH this year. I think that's a little too soon. I would like it to dethrone ETH this year, but I don't think it actually will. But let's actually look at Cardano's timeline, the ledger node. So the Alonzo node should actually happen next week or the week afterwards, depending. Then the full Alonzo node API and CLI, the application developer interface, should actually come mid-April, and they should be integrating the Alonzo node um, at that point. There's a private testnet that's actually going to start at the beginning of April and run through the middle of April. And then there's the Pioneers testnet. The Pioneers testnet is probably like the public Alonzo testnet. And then they're going to integrate um, They're going to integrate into Plutus Ledger integration. They're going to have node integration and then WBE integration. Not exactly sure what that is. And then support QA and UAT. And, that's, and the Pioneers testnet is going to go all the way through June. And then at the end of June, they're going to do a code freeze on Cardano. And that's when they're actually going to fork and do the update. That's when they're actually going to do the, they're, they're, that's when they're actually going to fork and do the update. Things will be frozen then. They'll have to upgrade the entire system. And it's a big, big update. And then they'll have to like get all the exchanges to upgrade. And it's a big process. But it should be done sometime in July, hopefully. And uh, that's when everything will come on board, um, including like all the ERC20, like all the ERC20 converters and everything like that. And we all know that there's, and from Cardano 360, we know that there's many projects already waiting to come on board. Um, like AGI is coming on board, Wolfram, uh, Wolfram Blockchain, which is a, a division of Wolfram Alpha. And then we have Ergo as well. So we know at least like, like maybe four or five projects that's coming on board right when that actually happens. And I'm sure there's a lot more that will get revealed on the way. So this Cardano three, this this month's Cardano 360 gave us a full timeline, plus some uh, some like projects that are actually going to come on. Uh, when that when that actually happens? Uh, no, the crypto doesn't like markets. Don't go always up or always down. Do you believe ADA will dethrone? Yeah, no. I'm still looking for about five dollar Cardano. Uh, thoughts on RSR? I mean, I people are looking for RSR to get on Coinbase, but I mean, it, it's anyone's guess on who when that's actually going to happen. If it's, I don't think it's already on Coinbase. I don't think so. People were talking about it getting on last year. You have to give up your citizenship in a country if you want to avoid taxes. Red Baron, it's not worth it. Stop trying to avoid taxes. The D55 people made an NFT index. Could you check the coin out? At yes. D55 is essentially an index. D55 itself is an, uh, well, well, it's a DeFi index. Index.finance. I mean, I generally, I'm generally going to like indexes because they mitigate risk while keeping the potential for reward. Yeah, so like, if you can, if, there, if, if there's a, like a legit NFT index, um, if there's actually a legit NFT index, um, I would definitely go for that as well. So NFT platform, NFTP, that doesn't look too bad. Like you have engine, mana, I don't know what the rest of these are, but like 
I, I would actually definitely I would definitely look at uh, like an NFT index. Hey, Randy. Slow mo means you can only comment once every ten seconds. That is to prevent spamming. Uh, no, mad capitalist said otherwise. Not so much avoidance, but mitigating government theft. Uh, no, taxes are not theft. I mean, yes, if you're one of the anarchy people, sure, but taxes are generally not theft. Uh, you mentioned buying XOR and staking it on PokeSwap. Is that the so Sora Farm thing? I'm not exactly sure because I haven't done it myself. But buying XOR and staking for PokeSwap might be like a good idea because PokeSwap's going to, I think PokeSwap's going to be pretty hot. Um, I actually just use TurboTax and it's great. There's are there's also software packages that there's like Coin Tracker and other software that you can use to use to track your crypto taxes that integrates with TurboTax. If you want to use legal ways to minimize your taxes, that's fine. But I'm not going to give you advice about moving out of the country just to avoid taxes. Oh yeah, but that's people's private, but Red Baron, that's people's private money. You can't really, like, you can't really tell other people, like, they should cure cancer instead of buying crappy NFTs. Sure, it might be a more worthy cause, but people are selfish. Yeah, Cardano Swap's going to be called Liquid, and it looks like it's Q3 of this year, because Cardano Swap can't happen un until Alonzo happens. Yeah, engine mana and rareable. Um, those are the ones that I knew as well. So I don't know about the others. I mean, I would definitely read up about the others. Definitely, I would definitely read up about the others. Just move into Decentraland, I see. From their NFT, yeah. I said, I think I said it like, uh, but I look at uh, yeah, Basho Pump. You know, I don't really know about the whole Basho. I, I think like Gogan is going to be like more, uh, more, uh, hype than Basho though because like Gogan actually gives you like functionality Basho is really scaling but Cardano can also already process hundreds of transactions per second so right now it's not going to be like a critical thing it like Basho will be really great in the future but right now it's not as critical because they just need they just need to get projects onto the blockchain right now I do think Polka City has the chance to be very big yes I definitely think Polka City can be pretty big. I mean, I think it's going to be kind of like Mana in Decentraland. Solana is getting negative press about centralization. Coin unlock coming too could be a huge decline coming. I suppose, but judging by how Binance has performed because of BSC, I kind of doubt it. Because like, it doesn't really seem like investors really care that much about centralization or decentralization. ADA or VeChain? I mean, I would invest in Cardano or Polkadot or VeChain before Solana, but still. I think like... VeChain might have more ROI from this point onward. I don't really know like about the VeChain timeline though. I don't really know about the VeChain timeline. I mean, it's still number 17 and it's like 8.4 cents. People just got excited because it went up, up almost to 10 cents and then like the market just took a dump and then VeChain just dumped with everything else. Cheapest coin on Coinbase. I mean, it's, it's a new coin. Care about network effect and fee. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think Solana is going to have like fees. Network effect, that needs people to adopt. NPXS outperformed VeChain and all others. Well, yeah, lately PundiX. I don't really have anywhere to sell or buy PundiX though. If you have not cash out and deposit into your bank account, is there a penalty for not declaring your crypto on your taxes? I mean, yes, technically you're supposed to declare every time you make a sale. It's hard for them to track it, but technically that's what you're supposed to do. I think Basha will be more projects on onboarding. Maybe, maybe. Gogan will take some learning, but I think people are going to onboard once Gogan hits. Basha will definitely help in the future, but I think Gogan's more critical. I actually think Vetho could actually have more ROI in the short term. I would definitely rather have VET in the long term, though. No, we haven't completely gone. We haven't gone over the Solana news yet, but they got a big investment. Uh, they got a big investment from MXC and OK, uh, OKX. They got forty million. Ecomi or Chillaz? I would take. I would actually take Omi right now. Um, Chillaz is pretty cool too, but I would take Omi right now. Bought ADA at 0.03 cash. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, if you bought at three cents, I mean, right now you're forty x up, so I would definitely take some profits. Thoughts on ETH? Do you believe it's going to hit ten k this year? I think it might hit five. I don't think it's going to hit ten. I think FTX Stadium purchase will push Solana. I think that could, that's a toss up whether that's like good or not. I mean, I can see it getting some public recognition uh, because of the stadium. Uh, well, the stadium branding purchase. They didn't actually buy the stadium. They they bought naming rights to the stadium. That definitely could bring it some public attention because like, they basically bought the naming rights to the Miami Heat Stadium. Although right now with COVID, no one's actually going to the stadium for games. I don't really make projections 10 years into the future. Because that's way too far right into the future. OM is in the works with a broker partnership that's in the USA. Huh. I'm not a huge fan of Digibyte because DGB is essentially like a technology without a use case. They still haven't gotten like a big partnership yet, like or someone that will actually use them. It's still like a bunch of like Dig Digibyte fans like raving about the coin. I mean, the technology is cool and all, but who's using it right now? See. And it's been a couple of years, you know? CSC always is a price glitch on. Do you think the constant plague with uh, fees? Yeah, that's definitely starting to drag on ETH. I, I, I think that's probably true. I, I, do, I do think it's probably de it's definitely starting to drag on ETH. The fees are definitely hurting a lot of ETH projects. And I think some of those projects are going to think about switching over to other platforms. Because like, the fees are definitely a drag on the projects. I had 20,000 Digi on Cryptopia as well, I see. Well, I mean, Cryptopia, uh, Where can you buy Omi if you live in the United States? I do not know, like, look, you're very, you're kind of restricted um, in the United States. I'm buying a lot of these things. That's why I'm waiting for like Dexes from Cardano and stuff. Cause uh, I can actually buy the Cardano stuff, so. Omi's gone up quite a lot lately. Um, I would say, I mean, gate.io maybe. But it doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be much, like, I don't know how much volume there's. Maybe gate.io. There's Bitforex and then there's Ascendex or Bitmax. But I, I don't really use Bitmax or Bitforex. I don't even really use gate. It's your favorite project. I mean, it's still VeChain right now. Richard Hart is hard forking Ethereum. He can try to hard fork all he wants. I don't really care. Theta or Uni? I would say since Uniswap 3.0 is coming out, probably Uni if either of them does. Out of three coins, that Coinbase this is just one that's that's moving and it's ANK. Because ANK is the one that people know. The other, the others I've, I hardly have even heard of. I mean, Coinbase needs to actually like list coins that people actually care about. I don't know if ANKR is DeFi, but I'm pretty sure, I think it's ERC-20 though. I actually don't think it's DeFi. Um, let me see. I don't think it's actually DeFi. ANKR originates as a solution that utilizes shared resources in, able, in order to provide easy and affordable blockchain node. It's like a blockchain node hosting thing. Uh, they're going to have an AMM DEX. You know, swap 3.0 transaction fees. You know, that, that's the one thing that I, I find really confusing about Uniswap 3.0. They don't actually mention that they're going to reduce fees. And the thing is, like, I don't really see the point of Uniswap 3.0 if they don't reduce fees. I really don't understand, like, the point of Uniswap 3, of, of this upgrade if they don't reduce fees. Like, the whole, the whole reason people don't like Ethereum right now is because the fees are way too high. If it doesn't actually reduce fees, then what's the whole, what's the point? But like I've heard a lot of people say it doesn't actually reduce the fees. But then if it doesn't, then what the hell's the point? What do you think of the hydro coin? I don't know much about the hydro coin. You know the thing is another thing I would actually look at is actually HNT or helium. There's a lot of people actually mining it right now. Have you heard anything about Hedera Hashgraph's role in US CBDC? 
Not really. I, I don't really know if any of these known blockchains are going to have a role in the CBDC. I mean, I'd be surprised if the US CBDC actually used Hedera Hashgraph. I feel like they just like make their own thing. Hedera, I generally like. I'm just kind of cautious because they have so much supply that's they're gonna that's gonna come out in the next 15 years. Sell is on Bitfinex too, but Finex, yeah, Bitfinex is definitely not allowed for the U.S. Look, I told you in the U.S., your 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 um your ways of acquiring coins are very very limited because the U.S. regulations are a lot more strict than other countries. So like. If you're like really into crypto, the U.S. honestly is not the the U.S. honestly is not the place to be. Like, the financial regulations here are so much stricter than other countries. It's unfortunate. Hold or trade? What's the most predictable, profitable? Well, trading is obviously the most profitable, but you have to do it right. If you if you miss like if you miss certain points, it, it can be like completely non profitable. There are fast, cheap decks coming. INJ, SRM, Serum. Serum's already like Serum's been up for a while though, but that, that's the Serum's like the Solana decks. I think BSC can challenge ETH. Binance is doing. I mean, the the thing about BSC is like you know how they you know how in sports in you know how in the NFL they say so so let me ask you if, if you if your guys uh if you guys that watch like uh if you guys watch the nfl and commentators what's the best ability in the nfl what's the best ability in the nfl oh yeah by smart chain is winning definitely where can i learn to trade then well trading is more of a thing you learn with experience it's, it's not like uh it's not really a course thing it's more a thing uh it's more of an experience thing. No, no, the best ability in the NFL is not Tony Romo. The best, the best avail. No, no, the best ability is availability, and that applies in crypto too. The best avail, the best ability is availability. It doesn't like it really doesn't matter if you have the best technology if you're not available. Like the the reason, like the reason that uh, the, the reason that uh, th this big DeFi project is going on to. The the reason this big DeFi project is going on to Binance Smart Chain, this Effluence DeFi project or something, is going on to Binance and not Cardano and Polkadot is because part Cardano and Polkadot is not available right now. Right? Binance is actually available right now. It's available, it has smart contracts, it's running, it's functional. That's why they are getting this project. And I, I suspect in the next couple of months, Binance Smart Chain is going to get a lot of other projects as well because they're the one that's available. You want to be on, If you want to use Cardano or Polkadot, you have to wait. Whereas if you want to use BSC, you can just use BSC right now. So the best avail the best ability once again is availability. The other blockchains just aren't available right now. So like you can't actually use them. Like if you're willing to wait, that's fine. But if you if you don't want to wait and you want to jump on another blockchain right now, you gotta go with Binance Smart Chain. And I suspect that's why they're getting a lot of projects. I, I, the SEC isn't really dealing with CZ right now. I'm from the U.S. and sign up for Bitforex, no problem at all. Transfer tether. When DeFi is exploding in VeChain, I mean, you have to get VSwap up and VeChain 2.0 up. It's gonna look the Africa thing is look Africa right now is completely speculative because they're working with a private version of Cardano's chain. The private version of Cardano's chain doesn't actually affect Cardano's price. So like, will that private version eventually be interoperable with Cardano's main chain? Maybe, but I can't say for certain. I mean, that's the thing right now. I can't really say for certain. Which IoT projects do you think show the most promise? I mean, like V Chain and Cardano are both pretty good for IoT. How can we get into IOC, ICOs early? There's like a website called ICO Drop, but realistically, if you're in the United States, you like ICOs aren't really legal here. So they don't really, a lot of ICOs just don't sell to US residents. You can check out ICO Drop if you want to, information on ICOs. Am I a fan? I'm kind of indifferent about Harmony Coin. I, I do like the industry they're in though. The thing I was confused about using Bitforex was once Tether hit my wallet, I had to transfer my spot trading. I see.
Any update on Liquid DeFi? Nope. I think you have, I think I'm pretty sure Liquid DeFi you have to wait for Cardano smart contracts. I don't really see how uh I re I really don't see how DeFi would work without smart contracts. So I'm like for both De for both DeFi. For both DeFi and uh, NFTs, I don't think you can do it without smart contracts. Chin almost reaching 10 cents to your new EOI prediction. I'm, I'm going for 20 now. Have a dual citizenship. I wonder if I can use my other citizenship to get on Bitfinex. I think I think a lot of exchanges are tracking by IP address now, so I'm not really sure. Chainlink gets partnerships every day. Why not translate into... I think Chainlink's price is already baked in. Uh, unless utility really drives up the price, I'm not really sure. I think Chainlink will just move up with the market unless utility really drives up the price. What do you think of contracts, smart contracts on Bitcoin? I don't really know why anyone would actually want to develop on Bitcoin. I mean, Cardano has scaling problems, sure. I mean, not Cardano. I mean, EO, EOH, uh, not EOS. Um, I mean, uh, Ethereum has scaling problems, sure. But Bitcoin scaling problems are even worse than Ethereum's. That's the problem. Like, Bitcoin scaling problems are even worse than Ethereum's. People complaining about being locked out and lost funds on Coinbase. What's that about? I think they're just bitching about Coinbase's lack of te technical support, and I don't really blame them. I really don't blame them at all. Have you ever discussed nulls? I discussed it like once a couple of times like years ago. I haven't looked at it uh, for like a year and a half now. Because I haven't. I don't think they've had any news for a while. Thanks for the donation. I think like it's essentially um, something went wrong with their account and then they got locked out and now they can't get back in. Like generally, like even the best exchanges have really piss poor customer service. Unfortunately, what are your favorite? I watch a bunch of fishing channels. I don't actually watch uh, the other crypto channels. I can just read and get information faster by reading. And plus like all crypto channels are somewhat biased. Uh, Bitcoin has been regulated and thus accepted as a store of value. Who uses it except for speculative purposes? In the U.S., I think it's all for speculative purpose, except for like a couple of funds that are hedging with it. Um, in other countries, people actually do use it for transactions. Like Venezuela, Argentina, they actually do use it for transactions because their own currency is so unstable. I use primarily Binance.us and Coinbase. I, do, I can use Bittrex. I have an account. I haven't signed up at Kraken yet. Uh, like crypto, like crypto news are like... Uh, like Cointelegraph and Coindesk are the two big ones I would look at. And then there's like other stuff like Decrypto as well. Do you know why Cardano takes so long to deposit? My ETH deposit went through faster. Really? I do not know because when I try to deposit in Cardano, it's like instant. Like when I when someone donates to me in Cardano, it's pretty much instant. So that's kind of surprising to me. Thought Dash is the coin of the choice for those countries. Now, nah, more people use Bitcoin than Dash in Venezuela. People do use Dash in Venezuela, but more people use Bitcoin. KuCoin is the best exchange, hands down. Depends. I mean, there are a couple of people that have problems with the KuCoin, but generally, I it, it has been it's been pretty good. I wouldn't use Ku if you're in the U.S. I wouldn't use KuCoin to actually move large amounts. To move small amounts, I think you're okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple. Of, I think there's like a couple thousand BTC ATMs yesterday. I mean, in the U.S., but they're kind of spread pretty thin. Transfer ADA from Coinbase to KuCoin last night, it was ours? Really? That might have something to do with the exchange. Because when you transfer ADA from, like, one wallet to the other, it's pretty much instant. GSA is auctioning off 300000 of Bitcoin next week? I see. A couple of days I sent Bob some... Yeah, he, you did actually send me some ADA uh, a couple of days. It was instant. Like it hit my AD, it actually hit my wallet before I even opened up Atomic. So it, it was instant. That that's probably um that's probably the, the your the reason your transfer took a long time is probably because like there's something to do with the exchanges. Try to email the recovery. 
I took most of my coins out of Cryptopia long before the thing went down, so I don't have much to recover. There was a couple of like win coins or whatever in there that were worth like five bucks, so I never really bothered. Um, they're trying to, they're, they're still processing requests, but my guess is like you're probably lost. Uh, like you, you're probably lost if uh, if you're trying to get stuff with Cryptopia, unfortunately. CV chain burning coins in the future? Not really. I think they actually use them all. Be cool if they did, because then my coins would be worth more. How much lacking from my original bag of eight? Maybe calls, dude. I'm still lacking. Like, dude, I lost ten thousand eighty-eight, and I only got like thirteen hundred of it back. So I'm still short eighty-seven hundred. I don't expect to get it all back. Why hasn't a ICX moved yet? I mean, ICX ICX moved up the last couple of months. It's like two dollars something, right? It came up from forty cents like last December. I tried Wax and Doge and Cryptopia. Didn't know it while it's back then. Uh, I see. I I did have some Doge on Yobit, and I just consider that the hundred Doge like lost. I can I get Ocean from KSM from here. I see. Uh, I fell for one of the phishing schemes. That's why I lost the AD I lost all my ADE and VET. I've gained about forty seven thousand out of the hundred eighty five thousand VET I lost, and I gained about thirteen hundred of the ten thousand ADA I lost. Is Exodus a good wallet? Yeah, Exodus is pretty good. Like Atomic and Exodus are both pretty good. I think like the safest is the still like the the hard storage, the cold storage. I always throw away carp. How do you eat that with all the bones? I generally let them go. My parents can eat them. The thing is like. Traditional Chinese people know how to pick out bones. That's why, the, that's why like we don't have a. That's why like uh, people have no trouble eating silver carp in China because we they know how to pick the bones out. I have no idea how the hell to pick the bones out, so I'm not gonna eat them. Uh, is uh well, I can pick the bones out. It just takes a lot of time. Is Crypto Kitty still worth anything? I think I found a new few. Of I mean, I think there's still a couple of cats that are worth things. I'm not really sure. I never play Crypto Kitties. What coin is an absolute no? I mean, like. I wouldn't buy stuff like Hex because I still think it's a scam. There's a lot of... I did actually watch part of Cardano 360. Um, I, I especially watched the parts with AGI, uh, Wolfgram, Wolfram Blockchain, and uh, Ergo. Those are pretty cool. I, I'm, making, I'm making a video about that. And of course, the Gogan stuff. Like we, I just went over the Gogan timeline. I just went over the Cardano timeline discussion, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um... I, it's more delayed than I would have liked, though. The Cardano dot timeline is definitely more delayed than I would have liked, but if they can get things launched, I'm still cool with it. If, if they can actually get crap launched, I'm definitely still pretty cool with it. CRO, I mean, I'm not too crazy about them, but it's not like a no for me, either. Charles is like... You know, like... I don't know, like, his personality is not my favorite, but whatever. But I don't keep doing stuff. It is kind of frustrating. Like, they never give you, like, uh, an actual timeline until they give you a final timeline, and stuff's, like, generally delayed. But, you know, like, the updates, but the updates have actually happened. Like, Shelly happened, Gogan has happened. Like, most of Gogan has actually happened. Like, the Mary Hard Fork, everything has actually happened. <laughs> How to pick. Most of us who aren't in the South, our parents are from the South, so we learned that growing up. Yeah, the thing, see, the, the thing is, like, you know why there aren't any invasive species in China? Because we eat them all. Like, the crawfish, like, the Louisiana crawfish was, like, an invasive species, but then they just became a snack, so we don't have problems with invasive species anymore. Finance Smart Chain is really taking advantage of actually being done with low fees. Yeah, the, the, like I said, Randall, the best ability is availability, so they're actually available. Uh, like, like they're like, they're actually available. Like they're available to be BSC is available to be used, and uh, Cardano and Polkadot right now are not available to be used right now. So that's why BSC is getting the projects. Like being like early to the market is very very important, and I think that's like uh, what some of them. That's what some people don't understand. Only will only hold until the end of this bull cycle. I mean, yeah, you really shouldn't be trying to hold through the bear cycle. That's that's just stupid. Uh you <clears throat> cast nuts are illegal in Wisconsin. 
They aren't illegal in Missouri, and I might actually buy one in Missouri. Cardano could learn a few things from Binance Chain. All that good tech projects means nothing when you are not being deployed. I mean, the 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 thing is, there are they are going to be deployed when they act when they're actually available. Same with Polkadot right now. Like Polkadot's not available either. Like being early to market and catching that FOMO is so important because like Binance has developed a huge, huge DeFi system just because like they beat Cardano and Polkadot to market. So you will empty your portfolio at the end of the bull run. I'll probably sell like 95%. I'll keep an extra five just in case like I'll keep a five. I'll keep 5% just in case the bull run doesn't end. Do you think Sol can ever catch up to these big dogs? I don't know. Like Sol just doesn't Solana just doesn't really get the press, man. Solana just doesn't really get the press. Filecoin and Chainlink partnership. Filecoin doing well even in this small market dip. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, Binance is going to make money right now because they, they're actually available to be used. Does Coinbase ever unlist the shit coins besides XRP? Um, not really. They don't have a reason to. If, if the coins get sued, they'll relist them. Viewed Binance as a threat. It was just mainly working to beat ETH. Yeah, like, Binance stuck up on everyone because CZ actually, like, CZ is, like, one of the best CEOs, like, CZ honestly is probably the best CEO in crypto. He, he like CZ understood that like being the first to market, you don't have to be fully decentralized because no one gives a shit about that, obviously. But you don't have to be fully decentralized. All you have to do is like be first and have like don't and not have the problems that Ethereum does. That's all it really. That's all it really took. Uh, I would I would consider VeChain mid market cap. I'm looking for $5 in 2021 for ADA at, at, at the peak. Three ways to make money be first, be smarter or cheat. I mean, being smarter a lot of times just doesn't really work. Being first like to market right now definitely works. So you at least catch that initial FOMO. Tron actually did it for BSC, but no one trust. Yeah, I mean, look, 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 that's because Justin Sun has PR problems. Like CZ didn't really have the PR problems. Yeah, but of course they have rug pulls. Of course BSC has rug pulls, but that's not on Binance. That's actually with those actual projects. They don't, there's not enough, like there's not enough auditing for those DeFi projects. And Justin Sun's definitely worse. But look, being arrogant is like better than just straight up lying. But like, the thing about Justin Sun is he's, he's been caught in too many of his own lies in the, in the past. And now no one actually, like in my opinion, not that many people, not that many people actually trust him. But like CZ, it, like Charles, I don't think is a, I don't really think Charles is a great businessman. I think CZ is a very good businessman. What makes you think July? I don't think the lawsuit is going to be over until like October. Litecoin? So LTC has some value, but I don't see LTC having a huge amount of value. That's my view. I don't think LTC has a huge amount of value, but it does have some value. Well, yeah, obviously CZ is smarter than Justin Sun, man. Anyone can tell you that. CZ is a very like CZ is a very shrewd businessman. He he knows how he knows how to get things done. I mean, yes, he's like, I think he will run into regulatory trouble sooner or later, but he knows how to get things done. Keep talking about making money means nothing and don't worry about price. That's, that's where he lost me. Well, the thing is, Charles is already rich, so he doesn't care about that stuff, but the rest of us do. He, like, he still fails to realize that like 95% of people in crypto are about the money and without those people you really wouldn't have a crypto market 
I mean, it depends what you mean by moon. Like, do I think it'll double in price? Yeah, maybe. Do I think it's going to go to like 20 bucks? No. And we, we don't even really know how the lawsuit's going to work out. Everyone just assumes that it's going to work out in favor of Ripple, but that's, that doesn't, that's not necessarily true. But to make a change in humanity... That's only because Charles has a lot of money already, though. That, that, that's the thing. Like, the rest of us aren't millionaires, so we obviously care about the money. He might be a millionaire already, so he doesn't care about the money. But the thing is, like, the rest of us aren't millionaires, so we actually care about making money. He doesn't care about making money. So there's, like, there's obviously, like, cognitive dissonance between, like, him and his audience. You think XRP can win the lawsuit? I don't think they'll outright win the lawsuit, no. Look, the lawsuit is about Chris, Brad and Chris's holdings and Ripple's own holdings. It's not about the retail holdings. No, nah, like, crypto is not meant to be backed by gold. I really don't think the definition of money is really that in question. I think like people in crypto get too too choked up over that. I personally do not think the definition of money is in question. National EIDs like all around the world since work on tokens. Maybe, maybe. Look, look I, I think, look, as a crypto CEO, I, I do think he's too philosophical for his own good though. That's That's my opinion on that. And obviously not everyone agrees with his philosophies. I mean, I disagree with a lot of his philosophies, but I still think his coin can make me money, which is why I'm still in it right now. When will XRP be released? Maybe over the next couple of months. You know, I don't know if it's going to drag on for years. Like, I, I, do expect to, to, I do expect it to drag on for like at least a couple of months. There's like a, there, There's obviously an XRP enthusiast lawyer who's like, taking things, I, I think who's just pre presenting a very optimistic view on what's actually going on. I mean, like he actually, look, Cardano actually has delivered on, um, on a lot of like the, the updates and stuff. But I mean, people are always waiting on for the next one. Is Theta a big cap? Now, if it's top 10, yes. I would consider it top 10 large caps. Yes, Cardano will have a functional mainnet in 20... I mean, they have a functional mainnet now. You can stake on the mainnet. And you can actually create your own coins on the mainnet. No, he... The, 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 that guy isn't... A, he's a tort lawyer. He's not a securities lawyer. Firework tomorrow, Charles, is going on crypto banter live stream. I, I like a, he's really smart, but I think he's a perfectionist. He is a perfectionist to a fault. I mean, that's what I actually think too. Like the thing is, like like CZ like likes to get things right, but he's not a perfectionist. He's like, yeah, it looks good enough. Let's just deploy it. And then if and if there's like something's wrong, if something's go wrong, we'll just you know fix it afterwards. So like the thing is, like CZ understands why it's so important to be like early to market. He sees like he saw the opportunity that if he actually saw the opportunity that Ethereum's uh, fees presented, and he took advantage of it. He saw the opportunities, and he took advantage of it. And that's what, like, you know, you actually need to do in this market. But Charles didn't do that. He's waiting to get everything absolutely perfect. And I think that might actually hurt uh, his... Uh, that's definitely going to cut into his lead time, which is very important. Like I said, man, the best ability is availability. If, you're, if, if your blockchain is not available, you know, people are going to use other uh, blockchains. It's very easy. Finance me the first, but Cardano will be the first decentralized mainnet solving me. That's true, Hernet, uh, Indris Hernandez, but how
how much do how much do you think investors actually care about decentralization? I mean, mo a lot of DeFi I don't even think is decentralized. They just call it DeFi. Will Theta go to fifty dollars or hundred dollars, or could it crash down to five in five years? Could it be sustained? I, I mean, a hundred I guess is possible, but I don't I don't think it'll sustain that. I don't really know if the investment was before that or after that. Back Liz receives bit license from New York. No, I wouldn't say Charles C.H. is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs has more charisma than Charles. I mean, yes, Steve Steve Jobs was a pompous asshole as well. At least they portrayed him as one. At least like they portrayed him as one in Pirates of Silicon Valley. But um, but he, he had more charisma. I definitely see a big crypto retrace coming after the bull run. I, I, I definitely think that's going to happen. Solana or Chainlink? I think Chainlink's safer at this point. Um, I think you can buy Theta on KuCoin. I mean, like, look, I understand. Like, ninety, I would say ninety-five percent of the investors in crypto are just investors, and they they're in it for the money, and that's how I am, right? There are people that care about the technology, but most people are in it for the money. Yeah, but back is more of a, they're like a options futures trading thing right now. I don't know. Look, look I, I don't think it'll be top five of the U.S. exchange. And that's because like larger cap coins usually don't get a gigantic boost on Coinbase. Like small, it's small cap coins that get the giant boost on Coinbase. So I expect Theta to go up maybe like 30% uh, once like they get on Coinbase. I don't know. Like the, the options actually look the the six billion dollars in options actually expires tomorrow, so that might actually be the cause of the dump. So I mean, if that's the cause of the dump, they should stop dumping tomorrow. I love BSC. It's fast and cheap. Unit is now my second dex. Yeah. Think BTC will pump after expirations. It might stop dumping at least. If if the options were what's causing uh, the dump, it would stop dumping. I think institutional money will pre prevent a 90% retrace on Bitcoin. And maybe Ethereum. Elon, I'm going to keep doing what the rich do. I don't really think you, like, privately, like with this private money, I don't think you know what Elon Musk actually does. It's only like what Tesla does that's public. What Elon Musk does himself is not public. Who put the options? Options traders. I mean, anyone can be an options trader. Do you think there's strong support at 48,000 for BTC? There is support there, but really, if people want to dump through it, they can. If we like have some kind of flash crash, I mean, it's all going to dump through. Most companies will create their own internal blockchain, so what's the point of cryptos? Because then they like... If they make their own internal blockchains, it's going to be hard for them to like uh, interoperate with each other. And internal blockchains don't have the same kind of public trust that public blockchains do. Curve and Anchor, yeah, I own ESS. Think decentralization will bring more adoption for better projects, though. That's true. Like long term wise, I think decentralization is important. But if you're looking for like real profit, I don't think decentralization matters all that much right now. Do you believe it's dangerous that some of these corporations hold large amounts? Sort of, because like, but you know, Don Snow, that's, that's really no different from the, how the current financial system works. Look, that's why I don't think blockchain's going to like be a gigantic transfer of wealth or anything. Yeah, a couple of us will get rich, sure. But I think like the, I think the people who are still, who are rich right now will still be rich because they're, they're going to be the ones that own a lot of the Bitcoin. I don't really know. I, I have a feeling people were, are, are going to sell the Spark token after the first airdrop. It happened today. I mean, look, the big thing today was this Cardano timeline. And basically, like, they're launching the, the Alonzo testnet in mid-April. And then, like, at the end of June, they're going to have a code freeze, and that's when they're going to fork everything. Like, honestly, the timeline stretched out much longer than I wanted to. I mean, I like VeChain. Harmony, I'm kind of indifferent on. 
I think Flare Network is supposed to be Q3 or Q4. I don't exactly know the date because I don't think they've told us, but I think it's either Q3 or Q4. End of June. End of, like end of June, they're doing like a code freeze. And that's when they're actually going to switch over. It's going to take them a while to upgrade. It's a big upgrade. So pump during testnet or pump like a month before HFC? I would say probably pump like a month before HFC. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure though, but I would say pump like a month before HFC. I heard better than Cardano. I, I don't, I wouldn't go with that because Algorand is like a couple of years behind Cardano in terms of like, um, like marketing, adoption, development, things like that. <clears throat> End of June is theta 3.0. I, I, I think that's when kind of like Polkadot's going to do their parachain auctions too. A lot of coins are coming on at the same time around that time. I'm not really sure if they collaborated to pump the market together or what. I don't really think so, but I guess it could be. STX. Stacks? I, I don't know much about stacks. What, what is stacks? Number 68. Layer one blockchain solution that is designed to bring smart contracts to decentralized applications to Bitcoin. It might get some FOMO, but honestly, why would anyone want to develop on Bitcoin? Like seriously, why would anyone develop on Bitcoin? Like Ethereum has scaling problems and Bitcoin's even worse when it comes to scaling. So I'm not really sure why anyone would actually want to develop on layer one Bitcoin. You do realize that layer one Bitcoin's capped at seven transactions per second. So I, 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 I don't know. I'd, I'm not a huge fan of it, I guess. Uh, ADA withdrawal from Coinbase currently disabled. That's weird. Oh, block stack. I mean, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm looking at the wrong thing. I mean, I think, isn't Blockstack, like, wasn't that, like, the first registered security, like, STO offering in the U.S.? I'm actually kind of bullish on that. What is it when a project is going, what do you mean a project's going DAO? Usually a DAO is, like, kind of like a governance system or, like, a stablecoin system. Blow off top with 60K, basically all down from here. He said slow retracement down. I don't really believe that. I've heard that at every 10K for Bitcoin. You hear news about Microsoft building something on BTC. It's the most secure blockchain, I guess. It is, but like the scaling is so bad on BTC, though. Have you looked into BPRO? Seems like a good long-term low cap. BPRO isn't... BPRO is just kind of like uh, chill as for e-games, right? That could be pretty good. I don't have any thoughts on ESS. I wonder if they're doing some kind of ADA upgrade. Kind of weird that they disabled it at the same time. Yeah, if Blockstack is actually safe from the SEC, that can definitely have some potential. Do you think about the uh, DeFi Yo code? Yeah, I mean, they could build contracts with the Stacks token, but if you're using BTC for security, I mean, BTC is really slow. What do you think of PancakeSwap? I mean, I think all these like main, main DEXs could have a lot of potential. Definitely think a lot of these main DEXs can have a lot of potential. I'm okay with the July release of Lonzo. In the end of the day, the testnet will have the developers. Can you, so that's true. Uh, but like, if you're like a current, pro, that, that is true, crypto simple. But if, you, if you're like a developer right now and you actually need to get on a chain right now, you would choose BSC. So I think BSC in the meantime will actually slurp up a lot of these uh, projects. Cause like, because, because Cardano, like the main net for Cardano and Polkadot aren't quite available yet. I do think BSC can actually slurp up a lot of the main nets right now. YouTube uh, was a big promoter of Blockstack. 
I mean, it's done okay. It's done okay. I think people really need to get off the food meme for the swap zone. That's kind of that's kind of ridiculous. They actually need to come up with like more professional names. That's my I think that's my opinion right now. And you you can earn BTC when you stake block stack. Yeah, I mean staking is going to be pretty popular because it's just a better form of interest. My stable favorite stable coin. I mean USDC. To me, they're all the same, but USDC is safer. Marketplace at sixteen million dollar market cap. You mean sixteen billion? Rarible should be more than sixteen million. That's twenty two million. But um yeah, it's actually pretty low. It's twenty two million. But look at it, the circulating supply is eight hundred and fifty five thousand, but the the total supply is twenty five million. So less than like four percent of the total supply has been released. So I think you have to be a little bit careful, but even but I think even if the total circulating supply is released, you still have room for growth. So I'm still pretty bullish on Rarible right now, at least until like Cardano or Polkadot comes out with an NFT platform. Good time to invest in Binance coin then. I think BSC is a decent investment right now. A day these developers should be thinking long term. They can wait a couple of months to build on profile that has better code. It is, but you know, like people who are using DeFi aren't really using it to, for the purpose of DeFi. They're just kind of using it to speculate on money. And in that case, it doesn't really matter if it's decentralized or not. I suppose if you're looking for the really long term, you're right. But in terms of functionality for the next like couple of months or years, I, I don't know if it really matters all that much. Is USDC high interest on BlockFi and Celsius safe? I think so. I mean, I would think it's safe on BlockFi and Celsius. I'm, not a hundred. I, I can't guarantee that, obviously. Uh, Shinfin. I'm fairly bullish on Shinfin. I haven't heard too much news from them lately, but I'm fairly bullish on them. It's true. They could always bridge. But the thing is, like, if you're talking about price for Cardano, I think it's going to be fine. Like, I, like as we get into like a month from the HFC, I think it's going to be pretty good. I, I really don't care much about what BitBoy thinks about these things. It's completely irrelevant. I guess this could be kind of funny, but to me, it's irrelevant. The, all, the th that's the thing. DeFi is still eventually die down. I think NFTs will have a longer viability. Nah, I actually think B DeFi will have actually like DeFi will have its uses. I think most DeFi's are. I think most DeFi projects are complete trash right now. That's true. But I think DeFi eventually will find its use. Kusama, I actually am. I'm actually. I might actually be more uh, bullish on Kusama than Polkadot right now. I do have. I. I think I do have some Ergo in a wallet. What coins are you interested in now? I mean, I already have the coins I want. I'm looking forward to Liquid, and Polka Swap. XOR would be pretty interesting. Bat will shock people this bull run? I really hope so, Max. I hope Bat will shock me because I have a bag of Bat and I would like for it to shock me. Elrond? Elrond has potential to be top 10, but it's like kind of behind the other main nets right now. It has a lot of transactions per second, but it doesn't quite have like the marketing that a lot of the top main nets have. It did like pump up a lot though, like a month ago. I don't know enough about Stormax. get into Pokestarter, but you have to hold so much polls. That could be kind of tough. Um, I mean, I answer the question about Digibyte every day. Like, if Digibyte actually had some partnerships, I would be bullish on it. Right now, it's hard for me to be bullish on it because it doesn't have any partnerships. Or, like, any anyone that really plans to use them lar uh, large scale. I mean, the technology is there for Digibyte, but the use isn't. The use case really isn't. They need They need more of a use case. Definitely need more of a use case. Like with the interoperability, there could be a bridge, regardless of speculation of Alonzo. Will pump. Yeah, I mean, like, 
I'm actually looking forward to the Alonzo speculation. I wonder how much that will actually go uh, pump the price. Yeah, but that's just like a crypto crypto partnership. I would I want them to I want like a partnership with like a Fortune 500 company. I am not a huge member uh, fan of Hex. I think they're a scam. I have never been I have never thought highly of Hex. Do you think NKADA will drop below 30 again? 30 cents? Uh, in the next couple of months, probably not. I have 100k in what crypto I have invested. Oh, nice. See. Look, I'm still waiting for like VET to break ten cents. No, um, no, I, I've, I've only accumulated maybe like twenty three, twenty four percent of the VET that I lost in the past. Like, but just because I think Hex is a scam doesn't mean it can't pump though, because like a lot of scam coins do pump. I think I'm selling all my ADA prior to the Alonzo mainnet. Need to take profit considering my average buy-in is five cents. Yeah, that's probably a good idea if your average buy-in is like five cents. Do I think ADA will drop below 30 cents? No, I don't think so. I I can't say I think everything is extremely undervalued. I mean, the market cap's in the trillions now, so I can't say I think everything's extremely undervalued. If you asked me a year ago, I would have said yes, but now I can't really say that. Oh yeah, it's definitely better to sell off at the end of the bull run rather than wait until the next bull market. Because if you hold through the bear market, you're just losing money. Have you looked at sitting at only 1.5 million MC with 24 million CS? V? Huh. I mean, it's a really, it's a micro cap at this point at 1.5 million. I mean, if you want to invest in a micro cap, it's something that you maybe invest $100, $200 on and see what happens. What do you mean about the BK of privacy coins? Like, I don't invest in privacy coins as a rule because I don't really feel like taking that risk. There's no reason for me to. If you're like a crypto idealist and you want like completely private transactions, I can see why you would invest in privacy coins and that's cool. Me, I just don't really see a point for me. Would you be willing to go on Richard Hart's channel and debate him on the scamminess of Hex? Dude, I can just, people generally can just take one look at the project and tell what it's about. I mean, like the, the like who owns the origin address? Why did you get a copy? Like, why did you get a copy of each hex that was bought in the first year? It, it look if a stock did that, everyone would call it a scam. But since it's crypto, somehow it's not a scam. Any idea why Charles issued thirty billion ADA? What do you mean? I mean, there's I think there's forty billion overall in ADA in the supply. The, the right now. Um, Right now, like the, the actual amount in escrow is that I think that's what's being paid out in staking. What are your thoughts about Safe Moon? I'm, I've heard a lot about it lately. I mean, I, I don't really know what to think about like, the, like, like a lot of coins that just become fads really quickly. Think there are signs of bull market ending btc dropping 50 percent i don't think the bull market's going to end i mean i could be wrong and like all those people predicting doom and gloom could be right but i don't really see it happening no no it's not it's not about taking one look at richard hart like looking at him doesn't really tell me anything looking at the project and how it's structured tells me everything When is VET 2.0 uh, going to be released? I think next month, but I'm not 100%. I'm definitely not 100% sure. In 2017, there were at least 735% drops, so it's just normal. Yeah, look, during the during the 2017 run-up, people act like there was ne there weren't crashes. There were a ton of crashes.
Private databases are easily corruptible? I suppose, yeah. Here they are. What do you think about Tezos? I mean, it got a lot of, uh, it actually got a lot of uh, press like early last year. That anything will be as bad as last March? I don't think so, unless the stock market massively collapses. And I know some people are uh, looking for that, but I'm not really sure if that's going to happen. I mean, it could happen. Coming from ETH next. Uniswap 3.0 is supposed to launch in May. Um, that could be a game changer, but I'm not really seeing where the Uniswap 3.0 is reducing fees. And if it doesn't reduce fees, it's useless. So much fiat. But I do think Uni will pump leading up to Uniswap 3.0, though. There's such so much fiat among the rich that they're, I see. Um, I never invested in Badao, no. There were several chances to sell Badao for profit, though. You know, like once I he stop hearing like uh, once I stop hearing like news about like X Bank wants to get into crypto, then I might start getting bullish. Or if the SEC or if the SEC or the CFTC really starts hammering down on regulations, maybe. Maybe then, but not before then. I believe the last cat look will be the Bitcoin ETF in October. Maybe, maybe. Like look the thing is, I don't know if an ETF is going to pass in October. I think that's the earliest it can pass, though. Uniswap to 60 bucks next month? Could happen. Yeah, but, Randall, they're supposed to be building 3.0 on Layer 2. The, it, the entire point of Layer 2 is to reduce the fees. So if they don't reduce the fees, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They, they have to reduce the fees. What do I think about T-Fuel? I mean, it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good investment. Like T-Fuel and Theta kind of go hand in hand, but T-Fuel actually, like during a pump, T-Fuel actually might pump more. It's like VeChain and Vetho. Bull Run has seen very little new retail money. Yeah, but you know, institutions also don't panic sell. So that's the other good thing. Coinbase is kind of a joke with all these shit. Yeah, look, look, EOS wasn't like a shitcoin back uh, when they first listed it. Yeah, like three, like three point has to reduce fees. Like, I don't really know what three point is for if they don't reduce fees. That's true. I mean, for some people, it's really good for privacy coins as an option in the space. I don't really see a purpose for me to invest in them, but I can definitely see why they'd be useful for some people. You know, you know, the thing is, those of you looking at really big gains, you got to remember, you don't actually make money until you sell. What does slippage mean on Uniswap? Um, it's a DEX, right? So like when, you, when you're buying someone else's sell order, you're always buying at a higher price. So like the difference between that higher price and the listed price is slippage. That's what slippage means, folks. I'm just a bit confused. So many large companies are now invested in BTC, so would the market end up stabilizing rather than collapsing? It would still go down, but it would stabilize at a higher point. It's something to do with their AI ecosystem. I'm not 100% sure. You know, it's kind of like how all these DeFi governance coins, sometimes like, what the hell does this thing actually do? And I'm like, I don't think this stuff is worth that much, but people just FOMO into them. Should I hold? I don't think this bull cycle is over. Should I hold VET or sell at the end of the year or buy again in the bear market? I mean, if you've, look, if you've made a ton of money with VET, yeah, I would sell it at the end of the year. At least part of it. Gas fees are killing off ETH use, but they're not actually killing off ETH investment. Because like, like high gas fees are actually good for miners and they'll actually like manipulate ETH up. But the problem is like for everyone using ETH, trying to use it for DeFi, it's actually really bad for the ecosystem. No, I'm not gonna invest in stocks. I might, I might, I might invest in like a dividend yielding stock. Verizon is one I would, like, if I were to invest in a dividend yielding stock, Verizon would be actually be one I would look at. $2 VET and I'm good. 
Because like Verizon gives like something like five percent dividends, and I can just live. If I have a lot of money, I can just live off the dividends. And I don't think Verizon's going anywhere fast. I don't have any. I have like two hundred XRP right now. I don't really see a reason for me to buy XRP. Going make uh, Umex is great small cap, the first decentralized margin trading platform. Like, and the two hundred XRP was donated to me. I didn't really buy it. I do not own any Tesla. And crypto during it's a major problem for trading liquidity. There is some new retail money, but not a lot. Look, I mean, I invest in other coins. I, did, I didn't, I, and I sold the XRP bag a while ago for other coins, and the other coins have actually performed a lot better. So, like, I don't really see a reason to get back in right now. Could VET and ADA uh, actually grow during the bear market? Maybe, but generally in the bear market, it is kind of hard to grow. I mean, they would have to dump first, and then, like, maybe the market will cause them to grow. It's not a scam, because, like, Bitcoin mining does use a lot of energy. But I don't really know how much politically that will actually affect things. Yeah, but there's a lot of altcoins that have already gone like 20 or 30x, so I'm not really disappointed in this run. Strong hands, these dips, I see. Putting money in vids one wallet. There's going to be a lot of like staking, there's, there's going to be a lot of staking offerings too. Uh, zero FOMO retailers, let me for you. I don't really know what you consider as euphoria, but my coin, my investment going up 40x is pretty good. I don't know, like Cardano, like during the bear market could retrace to like 50, like 30 or 50 cents, I suppose, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, like, like certain coins will see a lot of FOMO. Oh, mining's all, mining's pretty much always been an environmental disaster. Was there a coin that did well during the last bear market? Yeah, XRP did. Uh, well, no, actually, no. I thought you meant bull market. Bear market? Chainlink did pretty well. Chainlink did very well in the last bear market. Chainlink actually did very, very well in the last bear market. It's linked it well. Binance actually didn't do too bad either. Like BNB didn't do too bad either. It it also did pretty well. So there were a couple of ones. There are a couple of coins that actually do well in bear uh, bear markets, but you have to pick the right ones. Miners should actually be able to make fees off transactions after all the Bitcoin's been mined, but that's not until like 2140. $5.88, $1 ET, and I think I'll buy back in the next bear market. I mean, that's a pretty good, I mean, that's those are pretty good goals. You just have to get yourself to actually follow through on them when, when uh, when it happens, not like greed for like 10, instead of greed for like $10 ADA and $10 VET or like $2 VET. There's talk BTC going down to 42K. I mean, there's always going to be talk. It, it, look, as the options expire, if the, if the options were what was causing BTC to go down, we should see like a turn in the market. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Does Binance Smart Chain have like full smart contract? Yes, I think so. I think Binance Smart Chain does have full uh, compatibility for that. Have you heard the most I trust? Uh, no, I have not heard about the I trust thing. I still like Solana. I know they went down today, but I still like Solana. It's hard to sell and take profits because you think it's going to keep going up. It is, but you got to do it. BET Adam have one tenth of the market cap of non functional Todd and ADA. Everyone should own some link as a hedge for a bear market. I, I don't look just because it did well in the last bear market doesn't mean it's going to do well in this bear market.
Does Elon actually have the power to stop Bitcoin from dropping hard? I don't think so. And it's not Elon's personal money. It's, it's Tesla's money. I don't know how much Elon personally has in Bitcoin. I know Tesla has $1.3 billion in Bitcoin. Do you think Link is undoubtedly the best Oracle play? It's the safest one, and I, I would say it's overall the best Oracle play, yes. This bull could last in a... I mean, we could be in a super cycle, yeah. Like, no one actually knows when the bull market's going to end. People are just guessing. And the thing is, Elon, like, Elon's net worth is something like $200 billion. So... His BTC losing some value isn't going to bother him. What are the signs to look for in a bear market approaching? It's hard. It honestly is hard to look for signs. I mean, maybe when banks stop coming in, maybe when they talk a lot about regulate, talk more about regulations. I'm not sure. Yeah, you could actually uh, move the price to $100 buy. That's what's wrong with those small coins. If you're wanting to trade like 50 bucks on those small coins, you might be able to make some money, but any more than that, nah. BDC Golden Cross is a sign of a bear market. I don't really... I haven't really looked too much at crosses and like death crosses and golden crosses. So yeah, like I think I've mentioned this before, but Solana actually got an investment uh, from MXC and OKX. So they got $40 million to develop. So they have some partnership. They, they do have some partnerships. So which is pretty cool for Solana. Um, they do need some like, they do need some more press. Like the Miami Heat Stadium thing, I think will help them. And also like this investment from OKX and MXC uh, means they have, probably have partners in it, which is pretty cool. Solana is actually a fully functional uh, blockchain solution and has 10,000 transactions per second. There was a, a lot of news about him not being decentralized and everything. I think that's what's hurting them right now, but I still like Solana for the future. They did get invest a $40 million investment from uh, MXC and OKX. Current uh, mass adoption should change everything, but who knows? I suppose. You can't really guarantee we're 100% at the top. What are you going to say if we go past 60,000 again? What do you think of Harmony? I'm indifferent on Harmony. Like, I like the AI market. Harmony itself, I'm kind of indifferent on. Are investing in BTC don't think it'll drop if every fund is holding? Yeah, look, it, retirement funds tend to, like, are, are big holders. And we just got a new one day. It's like, so there's a Kiwi, there's actually a Kiwi retirement fund that's actually, that's al actually allocated 5% in BTC. So like there's a, this is from Cointelegraph. So like these funds are still coming in. If like BlackRock or something comes in, we're not at the top. And it's, if the crypto ETF passes, we're definitely not at the top. So like, so like, I mean, institutional uptake of BTC is still on the rise. And the retirement fund called KiwiSaver of New Zealand is, has actually exposed themselves to Bitcoin. They've allocated about 5% in Bitcoin. Now this is like, this is actually a retirement fund. This is not like a, this is not just like someone's money. This is like a big retirement fund. And they basically said, if you're happy to invest in gold, you can't really discount Bitcoin. So they're kind of seeing like Bitcoin as a store of value too. And if Bitcoin goes up, everything else goes up. So they've made massive returns on Bitcoin and retirement funds and, and, and like uh, and, and retirement funds are, are, uh, are, are like a sign that it's probably going to go up even further. Nation states are adopting and starting to mine uh, because most exchanges have withdrawal. Yeah, they do. Binance's withdrawal, Binance US's withdrawal limit is actually pretty pitiful. Yeah, Microsoft, I think, is looking at $10 billion for big uh, Discord. 
That was the that's what I heard anyways. I think it's like ten billion dollars. It's a lot of money for Discord. But it might be worth it to them. Definitely might be worth it to them. Gonna see multiple Bitcoin ETFs in the US. I mean we have to get one we have to have one to actually get past. I think Jay Clayton being replaced by Gary Ginsler gives us more chance for these uh ETFs to get past. I can only deposit like 2k. I think you can probably I would think you can actually probably do um further like IDing. Cause like Coinbase lets me cash out a lot more than Binance.us, so I might actually have to cash out at Coinbase if I have a lot at the same time. Yeah, I, I don't really care about that. It's, it's, that's someone's like old marital affair. It's not really all that interesting. You also hear the NYDIG news said confirmation that governments are looking by BTC in custody with them. Yeah, I mean, that's also very, very bullish news as well. It's a million limit if you transact in crypto. It's not a million limit if you tra transact in fiat. You can only cash out so much at once. I don't think national governments may not buy Bitcoin, but like various state governments, they actually might. And like pinch, like state, there's all, there, there was already a state pension fund that bought some Bitcoin. I don't play music in the background because of copyright issues. See more Bitcoin divorce later. There's unlimited fiat to buy a finite amount of BTC. So I suppose, look, if they keep on printing fiat, like Bitcoin has more of a chance of going up. They keep on printing. I mean, you're seeing like retirement and pension funds already starting to buy. If they like those have a lot of money, if they really start buying, the, the price is going to go up just by the demand. The ICX, the ICX rated thing is July. Um, so some already do. A, a, a lot of the retirement and pension funds, some of them have bought like um, options on them to indirectly buy BTC. Because I think there's rules that says they, they can't buy right now. But the ones that can buy directly, like this uh, Kiwi fund, they've already bought. What are options to stay safe if nothing ha if something happens to our economy? I mean... That's a tough question. If everything falls apart, then it's going to be hard to stay safe, but I don't think everything will. I mean, you got like JP Morgan and other major banks really looking hard at crypto now. So it's right now, it's hard to say it's not going up further. Might be able to get away without paying the royalties. Nah, dude, I'm just not gonna do music. It's just, it's, I, I don't feel like dealing with the copyright strikes. I wouldn't say crypto is safer than cash. I mean, obviously crypto is more volatile right now, but you know, like if you want to avoid the 2% depreciation per year in cash, crypto is a decent choice. Look, Tom Rivers took a short position on Bitcoin, so obviously he wants it to drop. If it doesn't drop, he loses money. I mean, last year's crash, I mean, I knew it was going back up. I tried to do some trading, but that didn't really work out.
Yeah, they're not gonna. I doubt the U.S. is gonna take away private land ownership. Is game theory kicking in slowly. USD, uh, realize USD is Ponzi and BTC is the way out. I highly doubt they realize that USD is a Ponzi because regardless of what you think of USD, it's still supported by the largest military in the world. And that counts for a lot. Yeah, I, I highly doubt they're trying to intentionally collapse the economy. Should I buy XRP? I would buy other coins right now. I mean, I suppose if you just suppose they're going to win the lawsuit, you, should, you would buy them. But right now, I'm buying other things first. I don't really know what Chromia is. I would have to look at it. I would have to look at it some. Largest military in the world in terms of like soldiers doesn't mean crap. If if the US and China went to war, the US would easily win. I think I, I like Three's company more. Is there a good place to stake my VET? I mean, you could just keep it in the wallet. Um, you could stake it on like BitTrue, but I'm not doing that. They're not intentionally printing that they know is going. Okay, first of all, all the money printing isn't going into crypto. There's a lot more going into stocks. And a lot of people are just using the money to actually pay bills. Yeah, sure. China outnumbers us, but that doesn't really mean much for military strength. The amount of foot troops, the amount of land soldiers you have doesn't mean crap. Like our air, our air force and our Navy and our technology for our army is so much stronger. You uh, you heard Roger and Rondo is back playing in the Clippers. Yeah, I, I heard about that trade. Do you think U.S. I mean, like, there's a lot of people that just can't pay rent right now because they're still laid off. They're gonna use the stimulus to pay rent. Do you think USA go to war if OPEC countries sell oil for BTC? I, I'm not really sure about that. I mean, like if anything replaces the US as the reserve, it's going to be some kind of like collaboration of like a bunch of other uh, countries' currency. Institutions are much less likely to panic sell. I mean, I'm sure some of them will take profits, but they're much, more, but they're much less likely to panic sell. A lot of the third world countries want to get Bitcoin because they can't really get their hands on USD. Uh, regardless, the thing is, regardless of how much USD is being printed, and they are printing a lot to be uh, to be fair. The thing is, like, there's still a uh, there's still a big uh, there's still a huge demand for USD across the world. That's the problem. And the thing is, like, our our the US the, the United States's power projection is easily enough to actually keep up with it. Like our influence, the US influence around the world is like second to none still.
Yeah, they're putting a small part of their balance into BTC. Uh, some other companies are. But there's still a lot more money in the stock market than there is in the crypto market. You know, the thing is, in a, in a bullish market, crypto mining stocks, the ones that aren't complete scams, are going to do very well. Didn't think BTC will be around after 50 years. <laughs> Wouldn't be a U.S. influence is dwindling around the world as for putting a small amount. No, for public companies, they're not. For public companies, how much they say they're putting on is how much they're actually putting on. You can actually see it on their balance sheet. Public companies have to answer to investors, and uh, you can actually see it on their balance sheet. Not really going to do another prediction for Cardano price. I've already done it so many times. And price predictions are useless anyways. Do you anticipate a dip tomorrow when futures expire? I actually sort of anticipate a rise tomorrow when futures expire. Futures might actually be, the futures expiry is, might actually be what's causing the dip. calling ADK no no the ADK top is on the options there are actually a lot of there are actually a lot of bets on the options that Bitcoin will be over 200k by September I don't think it'll go that high by September but like 80 like like the ADK option is for April like there's a lot of people that actually think Bitcoin will actually hit over ADK by the end of April ADK uh, orchid yeah there's always like there's someone on, there was like a David Devian keeps on trying to shill orchid I don't really know what the point of a decentralized VPN really is though Yeah, Bitcoin's not reaching $5 million per coin. Yeah, like, for, for Orchid, I don't understand, like, their product really like why what's the point in a decentralized vpn i i don't get it like i i've used vpns before especially when i go to china but i i don't really understand why would i want to decentralize one i feel like that's kind of weird i think it's uh eight o'clock at 8 a.m I only have 40k now because I used to have like 180k, but I, I, I got fished on that one. Bitcoin do very well. Um, is it worth to put $1,500 in Bitcoin or altcoins? I like altcoins better than Bitcoins. Bitcoin right now. Yeah, all coins will give you a better ROI. They're also riskier, but they will give you a better ROI for sure. Is it worth to put fifteen hundred dollars? Futures expire in three hours. I mean, it is like 8 a.m. GMT, so it is, yeah, it is ahead of here. That's true. It, look, if futures was, 
were what's causing everything to go down, like it should actually rebound after the futures expires. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I'll be back tomorrow night. Thanks for watching me and like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.